Hello, collective. Welcome to my platform. Let's go ahead and find out what the tea is in this tarot reading today. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I hope you enjoy the tarot reading today, okay? Um, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies in intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light. I pray that you reside only in the purest of white light in the pure in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is dismant dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay. All right, so we have the four swords out here followed by the six of pentacles. So we have someone, maybe they're going through some type of recovery. They may want to bring balance into some type of situation. There could be a plan to send someone in as well to assist someone, but this could be a setup, right, to mislead you. May you think that something is over. I don't know what this is, but someone could be having a hard time recovering as well. I'm telling you, someone could be having a hard time recovering, but I'm going to stick to the storyline the plot that there is some type of goal or plan to send someone in to give you some type of money and this is to trap you in something get you to to reject your new beginning maybe you're supposed to be having a new beginning somewhere i'm telling you to block you from moving forward this is why they're coming in someone does not really care give to shit about what you're going through but because they don't want you to leave they want you stuck in your head so you don't know which way which direction to take should i go should i lead should i stay whatever it is they're coming in to give you some type of assistance so that you can stay stuck in your mind about moving on you need to move on if you're in a situation where you're not fulfilled move on <clears throat> move on this person could be being sent by a whole family a couple to come in and deceive you okay they are being sent by someone to come in and deceive you this person has been working with people behind the scenes whatever this is they have a hand in the destruction or the dismantling of someone's life your life to per se they don't want you moving on having new opportunities connecting with genuine people so they're coming in to gaslight you they say oh i i heard you're going through this so I wanted to come in and assist you. And then you get all up in your mind talking about, well, oh my gosh, that is so nice. I can't leave now. I have to stay behind. I have to stay here and make things work out. No, 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 no. That is not what Source has told you. Source told you you need to move on. You need to consider your other opportunities, possibilities. You're not meant to be limited. You're not meant to be bonded. You're not someone that's supposed to be in bondage to anything or anyone or any place. Mm move on okay you have opportunities up ahead of you <clears throat> you have opportunities up ahead of you that these people do not want you receiving they want to keep you binded i'm telling you you see this you need to move on this is the whole plot to keep you stuck so they can end you move on you don't have anything to prove to these people you don't have any type of sentimental values with these people you don't care move on whoever you are move on you have a new start ahead of you you know the truth they know the truth you better not you better not deny your intuition just because someone is coming in to give you some type of resource some type of opportunity or whatever you're meant to move on and have a brand new start somewhere else new start in work in business finance relocation whatever this is the truth is already exposed about every action these people took how they threw 10 swords in your back some of you these people threw hundreds of swords in your back and they don't understand how you're still moving on they don't understand how you are still moving on and someone wants to take some type of impulsive action to come in and do this this is their plan they are planning to come in gift you something say hey I know, you know, things aren't doing too, going too well for you right now. So I wanted to come in and give a little bit of assistance to you, blah, 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 blah. Now you're trapped in your mind and you're trapped with this person as well. 
because whatever they're coming to give you is not a free will. They're lending it to you, so they expect you to pay it back. Uh uh. They may want to get in a relationship with you as well just to trap you. Nope. Move on. The moment you decide to get in a relationship with this person, you're done. You're done. You are done. Okay? You are done. There could be someone that was locked up as well that wants to come, that's maybe being set free, coming out, I'm telling you, and wants to communicate with you and tell you what has been going on. Maybe you don't know someone has been locked up, but they have. Someone has, they're not just said something about locked up and they're free now, and then the fool is on the bottom. Lord have mercy. Someone is free from jail, imprisonment, whatever this is. Someone is free. Either they're free from a toxic marriage, this is what it is, or they're coming out of some, some type of uh, uh, penitentiary, jail, whatever this is. And the sun card just came out again. I'm telling you, someone is being, someone has freed themselves. Someone has freed themselves. And they know the truth. They're speaking the truth. They're standing the ground, taking charge of their life and moving on. And this is what you are being advised to do instead of staying stuck in some type of hopeless situation. I'm telling you, free. You are meant to be free. And the fool is on the bottom right after the sun. You are free to go. Do not let anyone trick you into forfeiting your future. I don't care if they come in and give you a check for $50,000. Say no and move on. Whatever your needs are, the universe will provide. They will provide. This is someone's malicious plan to sneak you, defeat you. Every other plan they've come up with has not worked. So this is the new plan. So they can do this to you. They want to come in and be your saving grace. But it's not genuine. It is not genuine. There's something else underneath there. I don't know if you, some of you are focused on finding love, connecting with the right partner, whatever. That's not your concern. Your concern should be your pentacles, getting your life together, building an empire. Let the, let, let the other stuff fall in place later. People need to stop being so desperate to be in relationships and things like that. That desperate energy is annoying as heck. I would know because when I was when I was a teenager and in my early 20s, I don't think it was like I was desperate to be in a relationship. I think I was just like, oh, I didn't need to be dating or something. And I was never really happy in the relationships I was in. But for some reason, I felt like I needed to date or something. And now I don't know what the heck happened. I prefer to be alone. I prefer to be alone. I think because I've seen all the demons in people that I need to see. So I don't mind being alone. I prefer it. Okay. Someone knows the truth about a matter. This is being exposed to you. You need to move on. Stand your ground. Someone wants to come in now and have a family with you. Mind you, this person has always known what has been going on. They probably know more about the situation than you do. They didn't do anything. They sat back and watched. They sat back and watched people destroy you, destroy your path, block opportunities from you, steal from you. The moment source says, okay, this is over. You can move on now. Oh, someone has found their two senses. Someone has found their common sense. Someone has found a heart. Now they want to come me. Hey, pretty young thing. Hey there, stranger. Is it, um, who? Who are you? Okay. Never rely on man, and I mean as people, right, to be your saving grace. Rely on source. Someone is greedy behind the scenes, and them even taking money out of their, I'm telling you, someone is greedy behind the scenes. There's someone burdened, and the act of them even taking money out of their account or whatever to come and give it to you is pissing them off. Someone is greedy greedy okay move on with your life if someone wanted to assist you some of you are in situations that have been going on for maybe years one year two years six months this person have, has always known they have always known but they sat back and did nothing
they sat back and did nothing. Someone in here could be freeing themselves from some type of toxic group, toxic family dynamic. And there's a woman behind the scene that's burdened by that because she's not receiving something. She can't get, get a man to stay. She can't trick him to see her in a light that's not hers. She's burdened. Someone is bitter as heck because the truth is exposed about her. Losing sleep, have bags under her eyes and everything, but has the audacity to bath mouth someone else. Would you shut your pie hole, ma'am? Shut up. This is clarity about this woman. This queen of wands here, someone is burdened. This is someone mentally unstable. That woman is mentally unstable. Mentally unstable. Thieve. She may have tried to steal something from you, stole something from you, and she's exposed. Exposed. This is like someone doing something and they think they've gotten away with it just to find out they haven't gotten away with it. I'm telling you. And that person is still leaving. And now she's trapped in something she can't get out of. Tried to trap a masculine in a relationship and he said, no, I want to have a brand new beginning somewhere else with this energy that's healed. You're not healed. You're pretentious. Okay? And he may be keeping his moves secret. So something you don't know, Collective, is that there's someone that wants to partner up with you. While one woman is trapped in something she can't get out of, she created her own reality, basically. Someone created their own reality. A dark one, dreadful one. And she's going to have to endure all of it. She was trying to trap someone in a relationship with her. Trap someone because of abundance. But this man's not staying, honey. He's not staying. You're pathetic as heck. You're giving desperate. And she knows he's leaving, so she's coming up with ways to defeat him. Defeat you, coming up with ways to give him block. And the source is like, nah. It's time for these people to move on with their lives. It's time for you to move on. She don't want to move on because someone is not self-sufficient. She relies on this man for money. You're balanced. Light and dark. You're balanced, collective. You're abundant. Someone thought they were going to hold on to your abundance, but it's coming to you. Your abundance for some of you could be the relationship you're going to get in. It could be you starting a business, you going through healing, you've always wanted to heal, and now you're doing that. It's different for everybody. Someone here is balancing their light and dark. Their healing energy and their dark energy, the light and dark energy are balancing out. You're not living in fear. Someone wanted you out in fear. Like uncertain of your future, living in desperation because they're desperate. Someone is desperate for attention. Meanwhile, you have a whole new beginning ahead of you. Uh-huh. Someone is desperate for attention because you, <sighs> excuse me, she's desperate and she dislikes you. Someone hates you because someone puts you on a pedestal. They see you in a light that this woman can never be seen in. She's burdened by that. You are actually very hard work and committed to your work. Know what you're doing. Honest. Pure intentions, genuine. You're actually passionate about what you do. And that burdens someone because she's been a facade her whole career, maybe even her whole life. So she's in competition with you. This is some low vibrational activity. Someone does not even have any business being in the kind of field they're in. You ever went to a therapist that's not healed but trying to give you advice? You're telling them about some type of toxic situation. You tell them someone uh, uh, tried to do something to you and they tell you, well, do it back to them. But you know very well if you would have done it back to them, you wouldn't be alive. That's one of these people giving wrong advice, ill advice, just to keep people trapped with her. Because someone is broken, bruised, bitter. And she has a disdain for joy. She's not happy. 
she wants someone to forfeit their destiny just to pick her. Say, pick me, pick me. You know one of those pick me, B-I-T-C-H-E-S? Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Meanwhile, collective, you're behind the scenes, minding your business, not paying attention to these people. You say, uh, if you want to pick her, pick her. I don't really know anything about this mess. And then she's just there hopping on one leg. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Looking desperate as can be. Someone is like burning. I'm telling you, they're burning. Because what belongs to you cannot, it's not being given to her. She's not choosing. These people may have gone out of their way trying to steal something. Trying to steal something. <laughs> Lord have mercy. They thought if they destroy your life, have you out in the cold, then they will have a better chance and opportunity to come in and steal something from you. They want to send someone in to give you a lesser offer than what you deserve. This is this plan. So there's a whole nother energy behind the scenes that genuinely wants to work with you. And then you have someone that's being sent in to deceive you. Now it makes sense. You have a greedy energy and then you have an energy that's actually abundant, wants to actually share with you. And what this person is doing behind the scenes is getting one of her boy toys to come in and give you some type of offer that's less than a 10 of pentacles. Don't accept it. Be vigilant, basically, is what you are being told. You're meant to be someone of high honor, someone of affluence. Uh-huh. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're meant to be free. You have a direct connection with source. Excuse me. Listen, these cards keep trying to come out. I hope I didn't miss something. But I want the cards to fall out genuinely. Honey, you're, you're pulling your sore out at these people. They may not want to come to me and say, what about the people? If this is like an inheritance, let's say it's a business, and you get in there and you know you can't keep some of these people in this company because they are thieves, malicious. They're just there to destroy the company and everyone else in there because of greed. They'll try to play with your emotions and your mental. What about the people? What people? What people? You're talking about you and your partners in crime that have been stealing, misusing funds, committing fraud, identity theft, violating HIPAA? Those people? Oh. <laughs> this King of Cups, he came in the reverse in my freaking last read too. Here he goes again. Here he goes again. Someone has fallen from grace and it's not healing. It was coming in the reverse. He has fallen from grace and it's not in healing. He didn't want someone or something to be looked into. Maybe he didn't want people looking into him. He's already been looked into. Someone is not genuine. He's been exposed. The truth about this man here is exposed. He's been pretending to have some type of gifts, acting like he can see into the other realm. He can see things. He has foresight. His foresight is clouded, is what I'm being told. His foresight is clouded. This is not someone that's healed. Someone may even be finding out that a child is not theirs either for someone out there. This man is not healed. And everything he's going to going through is karmic justice, by the way. Don't feel sorry for this person. He's not receive he received some either he's not receiving good news or he received some type of bad news. Oh Lord, I said it. Bad news. He received some type of bad news. They said, oh, wait, hold on. You can't keep that. That's not yours. You lie. You were pretending to be something you're not. I'm telling you, he was pretending. He was causing a lot of illusions. A lot of illusions. When something doesn't work, he creates another decoy. He said, that didn't work. Let's take this path. Oh, no, no, no. Let's take this path. Someone is a quick tinker because they're so slimy. They don't want to get caught up in their lies. 
They don't realize they were they were already ready exposed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone is very impulsive, very naive. They thought you were naive, but they didn't realize that you're not the naive one. You know more about this person than they know maybe even about the whole situation. And you just sat back quietly and watched these people take actions against you. And this is them trying to hide. Now trying to turn their back on what they created. You can't walk away just like that. That's not how karma works. That's not how karma works. Someone is experiencing financial issues, losing a home. Not just one person. It's a couple of people in here losing their, their, their stability. Just like they tried to steal your stability, block your stability, block opportunities from coming towards you. This is about to be what's going on for these people. Actually, this is what's going on now. It's like, I didn't know it was going to turn out this way. That's why you shouldn't have participated. The fact that you didn't know. I'm telling you, you have defeated your enemies. And even though they're going through endings, they're still trying to cause you something, some type of ending. It's not working. The decision has already been made. Judgment has already been called. Judgment has already been called. I've just heard not hiring. So someone may be losing their job. Dang. While you're getting a new one or getting some type of promotion at work, someone is about to be losing their job. Someone is exposed. Uh-huh. Someone is exposed. And I said something about a job or promotion. The two of cups comes out. It can have to do with business as well. Success. Elevation. So someone is about to be going through some type of elevation. There was some type of message you were supposed to receive about a promotion and someone did something with it. They interfere. But the, the decision is, is final. It's not changing. The decision is final. It's not changing. So it doesn't matter how many years go by, how many weeks go by. That position is yours. That opportunity is yours. Someone chose you. So it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, and these people are fighting behind the scenes. Someone chose you. If someone was passing away and left you in a will, it's final. It's not changing. So they can manipulate everything they want to manipulate about the will, whatever, the contract, the deeds. It is still yours. And these people have gotten themselves into something they won't be able to get out of. They won't be able to get out of. There's a whole lot going on behind the scenes. These people are not happy. There could be something going on where people are going back and forth with the emperor. Whether this is a good emperor, bad emperor, there's a whole lot of back and forth going on between a group and an emperor. He may be trying to bring balance into a situation because he's fed up. Whatever this is, uh-huh. I'm telling you, collective abundance. You are abundant, okay? Someone's realizing they picked a fight with the wrong one or they betrayed the wrong person. They betrayed the wrong person. You're about to be in a whole new environment, some of you. A whole new environment. Uh-huh. Sure. There's, I'm not even going to go any farther because I already know what the heck this is. There's a mother figure behind the scenes that paid for some type of blockage. It said, make sure these two don't get together. She may have paid a couple. Maybe she even paid this king of cups in the reverse. There's something like that. She, she invested in something that she should not have invested in. This is like someone thinking their son is too good for you. And then they start causing chaos, trying to destroy your life, your stability, your balance, your independence. They don't like the fact that you're independent and they depend on another person or something like that for their livelihood. Something like that. But she's about to lose everything too. It's like things are being flipped. Where they wanted you, you're being elevated and they're being downgraded. They are being downgraded, honey, and you're being elevated. She invested in the wrong thing. You invested in your forward movement, your healing, your growth, your ascension, right? Improving yourself. 
some people, no matter how old they are, there are lessons they just will never learn because they're too mentally imbalanced. They're too broken. Too much has happened to them in their lives that they are not willing to face and confront in order to be able to move forward. So this is why they would think it's okay to be in this kind of energy. Not knowing the whole time, people are just looking at them like, wow. Wow. You're really this kind of person, huh? You're really this dark. They don't realize people find them impulsive. Do not let anyone talk you out of your blessings. Source told you you need to move on, move on. Whatever is meant to be, will be. Don't be in a rush for anything in life. You all know I always, I always preach that on this platform. Do not be in a rush for anything in life. What is meant to be, will be. Okay? What is meant to be, will be. So you have a couple of characters in the background of you. You do have someone genuine that does want to connect with you, but then you have a deceitful energy that's being sent to come in and deceive you. Block your blessings. Block your new beginning. Block your inheritance. All kinds of stuff. This is this tarot reading here. Sure. This tarot reading here is exposing a lot of people. And when I tell you this man came in the came out in the same position in my previous read. He flipped out in the same position, at, uh, in the reverse, in the same energy, excuse me. Reverse, reverse. Except he flipped out next to a king of pentacles that he more than likely betrayed. He, he caused someone to take the wrong path in life. Okay? Six, healing. Okay? It's time for healing. So, someone is trying to heal behind the scenes there could be a wealthy man or someone of affluence that's not doing too well as well may need your help or maybe you helped this person in the past and this is why they're trying to assist you or something or want to partner up with you whatever this situation is collective keep doing whatever you've been doing and keep moving on with your life sitting there looking pretty being abundant okay Someone sees you as very loyal, very committed, hardworking, worth a commitment. This is how they see you. You've changed somebody's mind. And you didn't even have to do much. All you did was stay true to yourself. All you did was stay true to yourself. Six, your heart is your gift. You are a natural, born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Someone may need your help healing, but they don't know how to reach out because they may have done something. Another six, someone needs help healing. Or oh, it may be time to heal something. And someone has been dragging their leg, not realizing the more they drag their legs, their feet, it's causing problems, blockages, stagnation anyways your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide you're curious you are curious in what oh lord i'm the foreigner i should be the one misspelling stuff and lord have mercy let me start over and i'll fix it okay your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who will benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. I am wise. With that said, thank you for watching Collective. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.